That's a sad. You gotta have the hips with it too, though. You gotta have the hips. We can't see the hips, and then his yeah. safety. He did a little. Oh um, yeah, yeah, with the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's all it's all in the hips, all in the. Hips. All in the hips. Let's start with your blocked punt against the Eagles, your second one this season. What is it like to just have those impact plays and really be a spark for this team when they need it most? Yeah, as a special teams unit, you know, we try to all come together, say we're going to make these big plays. We compete to make big plays across the field to produce. But to make plays like that, that instantly change the game, change the field position, help the team is huge. So it's a, it's a great feeling. Unbelievable job right there. See, got the block. Yeah, you have a knack for getting to the ball or even just inside of the punter's head as they have visions of you coming unblocked. How much pride do you take in your role on this special teams unit? Oh yeah, I take great pride, you know. It's it's my role being on this team, it's my job. So got to know my job and do my job. I take great pride in special teams, try to be a leader out there as much as I can, help younger guys come along. So yeah, it's, it's a big deal. Yeah, I feel like this special teams unit is just the right amount of juice that this team needs to be that spark, push momentum forward, to make those big plays. Who would you say is the ringleader in all of that? It's kind of all of us. It's, it's like, it's that's what I'm saying. It's a unit. We're all one. It's not like one or two or three guys. It's really everybody feeds. Everyone buys into it. Every time we step out on the field, we know the standard. We know we got to make plays, help the team get in a good position. So it's, it's really all of us. And it's a fake. He's throwing the ball far side. It's caught by Turner for a first down. Caught at the 50 and into Eagle territory all the way to the 41-yard line. Well, you're certainly making your mark in this league. And now as a pass catcher, the fake punt pass couldn't have been executed any better. Andy Lee was a quarterback, but you were the play caller on that. Explain that a little bit. Yeah, so we uh, we got the look that we had been practicing against all week. Um, they hadn't shown us at all game. And then we finally, fourth quarter, we're going out there, tie ball game. We finally get the look. So then I'm checking. I'm like, it's 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 a green light. So then give out the signal. Everybody, I mean, everybody knows in the huddle, we already know that it's a possibility it could be, it could be ran. Everybody just executed. Uh, Andy didn't blink. I didn't blank. The, everybody didn't blank. We all just executed to perfection when it mattered the most, and it was good that it all came together. Yeah, I know you guys obviously practiced that, but when that moment comes, is there any extra pressure knowing the ball's <laughs> coming your way on this? Yeah, I think I think it's because people were asking me that, it, like, well, were you nervous? Were you nervous going to call? And I really wasn't. Like, I guess that just comes with the preparation. Like, the pra we had practiced it so much that when I finally got the look, it was just automatic. Like I was just, okay, here we go. We're just in practice again. And then sure enough, it just all happened smoothly. It all worked out, so. Did you play any other positions, receiver, that got you prepared for that big moment, <laughs> catching that 26 yard reception? <laughs> uh, Yeah, I mean, I played DB. I played a little bit of receiver and running back, helped a little offense in uh, high school. So that, that was probably the last I can remember, like really receiving a catch in a game. So yeah, it's been a while, but. It was still there. The instincts were still there. I feel like this is the best complimentary football that we've seen from this team now heading into week 16. What is the message right now in the locker room as we look down the stretch here, two games left and possible playoff hopes alive? Yeah, it's just really just everyone like just knowing your role, knowing your job and doing your job on Sunday morning. Because, I mean, it's. It's not December, it's the end of December now, so everything matters, every play, every down. So everybody just lock it into your assignment, your role to help the team win. Everyone just do that. Come to come ready to work on Sunday and we'll be good to go. And obviously exciting for you. Haven't seen the light of playoff football. What are your emotions heading <laughs> into this trip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third year and we can we can taste it. It's almost there. So I'm just looking at it as like push through, like you're almost there. Keep fighting, help this team win, put the team in the position to win, and we'll get there.